Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. Today we're going to build a plywood and materials storage cart. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to organizing, there's always projects that can be done to improve the efficiency in our shops. Instead of leaning plywood, things like folding tables and sawhorses and larger materials against the wall, we'll create a cart that's simple to move and that makes it easy to access materials when you need them. I made a quick stop at the hardware store to pick up materials and then got to work. The first step is to make the platform for the cart. Check out the plans at DIYPete.com forward slash plywood cart for the cut list and detailed diagrams to help build this project. Use a miter saw or a circular saw to make the cuts. We'll lay out the boards and space them evenly and then cut four blocks to provide a larger surface area to mount the caster wheels to in a later step. Once complete, do a quick sanding over the boards to remove any rough edges and to smooth things out. We'll assemble the boards to each other using a combination of wood glue and screws, then use a square to double check the corners are at 90 degree angles and attach each of the boards at the ends. Always pre-drill before inserting each screw to help prevent the wood from splitting. To speed up the process, Danny stepped away from the camera and helped with the assembly. Next, measure the plywood so it matches the outside dimensions of the frame. A straight edge works really well to help get a straight line to follow with the circular saw. And once the lines are drawn, take your time and cut along them to get the plywood down to size. Slide the plywood in place and then begin drilling pilot holes and then attaching it to the frame with wood glue and some shorter wood screws. I place the screws around the perimeter about every 8 to 10 inches. Flip the new platform upside down and add the blocks at each corner. Use wood glue and screws to secure them in place. Add a couple screws to attach the plywood to each joist as well. Next, we'll construct the vertical separator for the cart. Cut the boards to size and cut a five degree angle on the end of the two vertical boards. This is going to provide a slight slant for the plywood and the materials to lean against. Then space the boards evenly and attach from the outside of the vertical pieces. You want the bottom board to fit flush against the base of the frame, so it will need to be at a slight angle. Go ahead and place the separator on the platform and connect it. Pre-drill and then attach to the platform at each joist location. It helps to use about four inch long screws, but you can get by using a little bit shorter screws as long as you countersink them a decent amount. Also attach the vertical boards by pre-drilling and then putting the screws in at an angle or toenailing them in place. Using pocket holes would also be a good way to do this. Next, add a bead of glue along the top front side of the platform and put the board in place. This is going to serve as a lip to keep the plywood boards and materials in the cart. Attach from the top side using long screws or pocket holes and screws. Next, go ahead and glue and then toenail the two vertical boards on the bin side of the cart to the platform. Measure and mark for the long plywood piece that will form the side of the bin. Use a circular saw to make the cut. And I typically go by eye and use a steady hand, but feel free to use a straight edge clamp or a guide to help make the cuts if you prefer. Cut the plywood for the side of the bin to the height desired, and then hold it in place and scribe the angle of the vertical board onto it so you get the plywood to the exact fit. Cut the plywood and attach it to the 2x4 boards using wood glue and screws. The plywood's going to form the bin, and it's also going to strengthen the project so you'll have a heavy duty cart by the time it's complete. Use plenty of screws and attach about every 8 to 10 inches and double check to make sure the project's going together nice and square. The larger back portion of the bin will be attached to the 2x4 and to the lower platform. The bin's going to provide a lot of storage for additional boards or items you might need a place for in the shop. Rotate the cart on its side and attach each caster wheel. You'll want to pre-drill and then use a wood screw and a washer at each corner of the wheel plate to secure it in place. Go ahead and lock the caster wheels before flipping it back right side up. Trace around the 2x2 board and then cut out the notch for it using a jigsaw. Attach the vertical boards from the side, making sure the notch you just cut out is at the top. Cut the 2x2 to the proper length and then test fit it to ensure it's easy to take in and out of the slot. Roll the cart outside to sand the surfaces prior to adding a finish. I used some 220 grit sandpaper on an orbital sander. And then once that's done, you can sweep or use an air compressor to get rid of any sawdust. I wiped on a wood stain for this project, which didn't take long at all. You wouldn't have to add a finish since it's just going to be out in the garage, but I thought it was worth it to have a bit more polished look to the project. Use a brush to get in any of the hard to reach areas. Here's a look at the cart before loading it up with materials. The caster wheels make it easy to roll around the shop and you can lock them when not in use. 
The bin side works well for storing folding sawhorses, folding tables, metal sheeting, and other materials. And the plywood storage side will store full sheets of plywood and other flat items. The removable 2x2 board makes it super easy to load the plywood, and it also gives the plywood something to lean on when you're searching through the boards and taking out what you need for your next project. I decided to customize the cart with my logo, so I used a vinyl plotter to cut out the design. I applied transfer tape to it, centered the graphic, and then squeegeed the vinyl decal on the side of the cart. Once you pull away the transfer tape, you have a pretty slick looking custom graphic. All right, thanks so much for tuning in to today's project. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in learning more about garage organization, like this project we just made, well, we're gonna be doing that again shortly for this area. So anyways, subscribe, you'll get all the updates. And uh, most importantly, hope you're doing well. And cheers from Montana.